is so hot in this classroom. Anyway, all right. I know you're going to weep. You're going to cry. We're not going to add and subtract fractions or mixed numbers. We're moving on. Anyway, we are going to start talking. Of, we're still talking about fractions, though. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to start talking about how to find fractions of a set. All right. So you're going to have a set of something, and you're going to have to find a fraction of that set. So, example, find one fourth of the stars, find two thirds of the hearts. All right. So we're going to find fractions within a set. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Now, let's talk. Let's look at this first one. Find one fourth of the, ew, of the stars. Okay, I'm going to this way. All right, when we're looking at our fraction, our fraction that we're trying to find is one fourth. All right, where's my big marker? It's right here. So one fourth is our target number, okay? Now, there's something special about these fractions that you should know. The denominator, that's how many groups you need to divide your objects into equally, all right? So I need to take these stars and put them into four equal groups, all right? So this is my number of groups. Okay, now we'll see how many stars we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight stars and I need to put eight stars into four equal groups. Okay, what do you guys think? Four times what is going to get me eight? Because you're kind of doing the opposite here. Four times what's going to get me eight? Two, right? I think two. Let's let's try. It. Let's see if I get four groups. I'll put two in each group. Here's one group. Two groups. Three groups. Oh, I think we did it. Four groups. Do I have four groups? Yep. One, two, three, four. Do I have the same number in every group? They gotta be equal. One, two stars, one, two stars, one, two stars, one, two stars. Yeah, yes. All right. That's your first step. Now, that's what your denominator tells you to do. Now, the numerator, that's gonna tell you how many groups you need to count. All right. So number of groups to count out, all right? So I'm gonna take one group and count how many things are in that group. One, two, all right? So this one group has two stars in it. So, One fourth of eight is two. One fourth of eight is two. All right. So, denominator, how many groups you're dividing your objects into? Numerator, how many groups you're going to count? All right. Let's try. One more. Find two thirds of the stars. All right. So I know I need three groups. Okay. Because denominator, that's how many groups you got to have. Divide my hearts into three groups. Three groups of what, though? Let's see. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so three groups of something equals 12. Think back to your multiplication. Mm. What do you think? So three groups of equals 12. 
Think about your multiplication tables. This is why I keep telling you, learn your multiplication, learn your multiplication, learn your multiplication, right? So three times what equals 12? I think four. Let's see. All right, so we're gonna do three groups of four. Let's see if it comes out equal. All right, there's one group of four. There's two groups of four. Oh, I think we got it. Three groups of four. Ha, we did it. Three groups and they all have the same number in there. Yes. Now, the numerator tells me I need to count the objects in two groups. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because I counted two groups, right? Count objects in two groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, two thirds of 12 is eight. Ah, yay. All right. Now, don't get frustrated with this. I'm telling you, learn your multiplication, learn your multiplication. Because you remember, multiplication is repeated addition. It's kind of what we've got here. Four plus four plus four, right? Right. So three groups of four, three times four. So you're just trying to find that missing piece. Three groups of what is 12, right? Right, okay? So remember, fractions of a set. Denominator, how many groups you need to divide your objects into equally? You gotta have the same number of objects in every group. Numerator, how many groups you need to count? So, like this one, one-fourth, I only counted one group. This one, two-thirds, I counted objects in two groups. Okie dokie, okie dokie. We will keep working on this. So, I will see y'all later. Bye.